Welcome back. We're now moving into chapter five, and this is what's going to be the first audience of Moses and Aaron with Pharaoh. So, boom, here we are. Let's read it. And afterward, Moses and Aaron came and said to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may celebrate a feast to me in the wilderness. But Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, and besides, I will not let Israel go. Then they said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Please let us go a three days journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. Otherwise, he will fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. But the king of Egypt said to them, Moses and Aaron, why do you draw the people away from their work? Get back to your labors. Again, Pharaoh said, Look, the people of the land are now many, and you would have them cease from their labors? So here's the first audience with Pharaoh. And, you know, Moses just comes straight to it. Thus saith the Lord. By the way, this is the first appearance of that phrase in the Bible. Thus saith the Lord. But look at Pharaoh's response. It is abrupt. It's even dismissive. The Lord? Who's that? You know, I'm Pharaoh. Who's, who's this guy? What are you talking about? Who is this Lord you're speaking of? I will not obey him. I will not let Israel go. So, yeah, it's kind of like uh, just a direct... And now we're in, in kind of that instant, uh, full-blown confrontation mode. Uh, they sort of dropped it on Pharaoh pretty strong, and Pharaoh comes back just straight up. No, nothing's going to happen. You're wasting my time. But, you know, still, this is a request. Let my people go. Think about it. I mean, God, the God of heaven and earth, who holds everybody's breath in, their, in his hands, he's making a request of Pharaoh. <laughs> That's, that's pretty humble, isn't it? It's interesting here what uh, Sarna says in the JPS commentary. The Pharaoh was the incarnation of a god in Egyptian doctrine. This divine status meant that his power was unlimited and that his will was incontestable law and that his utterance possessed divine force. He regards himself as Yahweh's superior. And I think that's, that's the spirit we get here, isn't it? The Pharaoh is, uh, hey, I'm Pharaoh, I'm God. What is this God you're bringing me here? What are you talking about? So we're off here to kind of an instantaneous impasse. And Moses makes a second attempt. And now he actually says, please. Didn't do that the first time. But uh, yeah, it's in, it's in when you're looking at verse 3. Please let us go a, a three-day journey into the wilderness. But Pharaoh's response is just absolutely uncompromising. And it seems, you know, why do you keep the people from their work? It seems like Pharaoh's already got reports. He's already heard about Moses and Aaron and they're talking to the people, and he's already heard about this. Pharaoh, Pharaoh is not receiving them in a blank of information. Pharaoh has heard, and he knows that something's up. And so he was kind of ready for them when they walked in. Apparently, they weren't that ready, though, for Pharaoh. And uh, we'll see more as we come along with that. But uh, they're going to be seem like they're kind of surprised. And so now, at the end of this thing, it's like, no, I will not let them go. You're keeping the people from their work. In fact, Pharaoh says the reason they're even listening to you guys is because they're, they're not being worked hard enough. Well, we're going to fix that. Now, let me bring up another sore point here. Do you remember back, we were back a few spots back where God was telling Moses what he was going to do, and he said, you and Aaron and the elders of Israel will go and appear before Pharaoh. And do you notice that, again, just in the yesterday, we saw that they appeared, Moses and Aaron, to the elders, and they, you know, showed them this business. And so the elders are supposed to be on board. Hey, where are the elders at? You know what? They all had some kind of an appointment or something to do. Uh, they just couldn't happen to make it. Sorry about that. And so Moses and Aaron find themselves up against Pharaoh there all alone. And so, you know, the, there's a lack of zeal. There's a, the, the leadership really is just barely in and maybe not even in. You know, this is the situation Moses has. He's got to persuade Pharaoh to do what God says. That's that's an uphill battle. He's got to persuade God's people to do what God says. And check it out, that also, just as much, that is an uphill battle. And so Moses, Pastor Moses, this really, he's pastoring these people, and he, he's up against quite the dilemma in his church district, Pastor Moses. See ya.